Welcome back to another Shadow War video, guys. So today we're going to be talking about advanced classes in the game, so let's jump right into it. So first of all, if you don't know, early on in the game, you're going to encounter regular classes, which is going to be your warrior, archer, defender, hunter, and savage. And then as you progress through the story, you're going to encounter your advanced classes, such as assassin, beastmaster, berserker, commander, destroyer, marks. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Number one classes that is actually the worst class that you can use and that is going to be trickster so trickster is actually use useful early on in game however later on in game there's really no use for it as essentially trickster is only meant to really dodge not really diss out massive amounts of damage compared to other captains and war chiefs so when you sit here and you use him against other captains and war chiefs you'll find the fact that only the really mainly useful ability that they have is going to be smoke bomb let's move on to the next one after that that's going to be assassin so assassins are going to be the other less useful ones in the game the reason being is the assassin class is essentially just made to go ahead and hunt Italian and that's really kind of it to be 100% honest with you you do have some abilities like they are agile and they do have epic throwing knives the reason I put them above the other class you know the trickster classes because they are agile so they dodge damage a lot more than the trickster class and on top of that they do have epic throwing knives which usually when they do the throwing knives it kind of stuns the enemies for a little bit going on to the class that you would think would be the most overpowered in the game is actually going to be the beastmaster class and this is not the most overpowered in the game Early on in the game, it's pretty good. However, once you get later on in the game and you have a couple of these guys branded or even one of these guys branded, the Nemesis system immediately starts making counters. Actually, even early on in the game, the Nemesis system immediately starts making counters to the Beastmaster class and you'll essentially find that your Beastmaster is completely useless. However, if you're going to go and get a Beastmaster class guy, you might want to get him to have these two traits. One is a Drake lure, so he can call on a Drake at a battle, which is super rare to find. Number two on top of that is Epic Growl Call. So even though they're going to be facing some enemies that are going to be beast proofed or beast slayers i find that drakes being called in by these guys and Grogs being called in by these guys are the more difficult ones for the beast slayers or beast proof people to essentially kill compared to the caragors den mother and the spiders on top of that next one which you're going to get after this is going to be you're not really wanting to get this one and i would put this at the absolute lowest class to get in the game to be honest with you and that is going to be berserker berserker you want to absolutely stay away from unless it's just you you using them in a one-on-one -on -one fight against another captain or chief. The reason being is they can essentially get rabid and on top of that they can become in a rampage and they usually always get rage all the time constantly. They're enraged constantly. Now the issue with that is with Berserker specifically they will go and attack your own branded companion. So they have a chance to sit here and demolish your own guys even in you know fortress assaults even in just regular battles. I can't tell you how many times I've had a Berserker kill my regular normal guys, even if they're not sitting here and they're not enemies against each other, they just still kill each other. So there's not really a point having a Berserker. However, they're one of the most powerful, I will say this, due to their rage ability and their rabid, they are one of the most powerful ones in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. But when are the chances that you're actually going to be doing a one-on-one -on -one conversation that much in Shadow of War when you get into later games? You're going to be doing the Fortress Assaults. You're going to be doing multiple battles where your, you know, your other branded companions are going to show up alongside them. So that's why I put the Berserker as one of the worst ones to have in the game. Doesn't mean necessarily the 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 worst in terms of like dissing out damage and stuff but they're the worst in terms to have on the battlefield in terms of having other guys on there as well next if you're gonna sit here and you find some issues to do with hey i'm constantly reviving these guys on the battlefield and there's a problem with that you want to look for a tank so a tank has two traits that it could have which number one is going to be determination the other one's going to be epic determination on top of that tanks are usually and i'm just going to let you know here tanks are usually ologs more than regular normal guys they can be normal guys but they're more so usually ologs in the game so determination keep in mind they can heal themselves but they can still be interrupted epic determination they can heal themselves but still be interrupted so you're probably wondering what is the difference between epic and de regular determination well epic determination they heal faster rather than regular determination which they heal a little bit slower so just keep that in mind so if you're constantly having an issue where you're getting your guys constantly down on the battlefield and you got to get them up go ahead and grab a tank and they have one of the highest survivability rates in the game except for anybody that has a shield so you shouldn't have that problem anymore going ahead to the next one is going to be we're down to the two most useful that you can use in the game believe it or not and one of them is going to be a destroyer destroyer is going to be super useful because of the fact being that they can throw elemental bombs and elemental bombs and mines and they can also use epic bombs which means they throw multiple bombs rapidly so believe it or not this doesn't seem like one of the most overpowered things in the game however it does come up to be that way because they can throw fire frost poison or curse damage bombs and or mines and that comes very useful later on in the game especially if you know how to exploit captains and war chiefs weaknesses so 
the best class you can get in a Shadow of War is probably no surprise if you played the first Shadow of Mordor, is going to be a marksman class. They try to sit here and stay away and keep their distance away from the enemy, and the reason why you specifically want these guys is for one reason. All these other classes have a chance to miss whenever they're hitting, whenever they're using abilities, whenever they're doing anything like that. Marksman class, if you pick up a guy that has the never misses trait, and they do exist, you essentially will be golden. Whether he's shooting a Karagor, whether he's shooting the actual captain or warchief, whether he's shooting an overlord and you're in an overlord battle, whether he's shooting a grunt, he's never going to miss. Pair this with if you actually manage to get a marksman that has that as well as explosive shot, it is a deadly combination in the game when it actually comes down. So if you can pick up a marksman class, and on top of that, they're actually coded, the Nemesis system in the game codes them as one of the highest advanced classes to come along and save you when you need a savior and you're about to die in the game. One of the other classes, of course, is going to be the Commander class. Now, the Commander class is only, I only see it really useful if you're doing bigger battles or guys that essentially summon in like gangs, and that's because they can do war chiefs, you know, not war chiefs, war banners, they can do call reinforcement and different things like that, but other than that, they're not the most useful in the game. They're useful for destruction distracting but if you're going up against a powerful war chief or a captain they can wipe out all of these reinforcements in like two seconds so yeah it doesn't really matter that much but that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much what is your guys favorite advanced class in the game let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you guys next time peace